transgender weightlifter in Olympics is unfair to female sports, one rival says. So let's talk about it. A Belgian female weightlifter is questioning the Olympic rules for transgender athletes after a New Zealand weightlifter who is biologically male became eligible for female weightlifting competitions. Do you feel that it's giving these transgender athletes an unfair advantage over other athletes in these upcoming Olympic Games? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. New Zealand's Laura Hubbard is expected to qualify for the Tokyo Summer Games in the 87 kg super heavyweight division. This will make Hubbard the first openly transgender athlete in Olympic history. Hubbard, 43, was born male and competed in men's weightlifting competitions before transitioning to female in 2013, according to ESPN. My humble opinion on this is that if Laura competes with the females, there will be an unfair advantage. International Olympic Committee rules allow male to female athletes to compete in female events if their testosterone level in serum remains below 10 nanomoles per liter for 12 months. Hubbard has met that standard. But weightlifter Anna Van Billingham of Belgium is criticizing the IOC, saying Hubbard's past competition in male weightlifting meets should be disqualified. So do you as a viewer question the integrity of the game? Do you feel that it's damaging the integrity of the weightlifting sport? And also, if this continues to go on, how would you feel in your heart if you had a son or a daughter that was competing in a certain field at a certain playing level and you had someone else that was transitioning, maybe stronger than them, may have an unfair advantage? How would you feel about that? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching this video. I can't wait to hang out with you in the next. Take care.